Let's think about argument, reason and persuasion. In academic work, an argument means putting forward reasons to support your point of view or your position. Other people might accept your reason and therefore be persuaded to agree with your position, but they might disagree with it too. The three elements of an argument are a position, persuasion and reasons. The position is your viewpoint. Persuasion helps you to get others to agree with you and reasons are given to support your view. They're evidence. So if you're writing an essay, let's say on Shakespeare, you might give some quotations from the play to support what you're saying. And they're very important when people are trying to work out whether they understand and agree with your argument. Persuasion is when authors try and persuade us to agree with their viewpoint because they genuinely believe in it themselves. At other times they might have a particular bias or a hidden motive or a vested interest in a topic which colours their argument. And Being able to find that out is really important. So, either on purpose or unintentionally, Authors may present arguments which reflect their own biases, their own intentions. This doesn't mean that their arguments aren't valid, but it's important that you know what their position is so that you can judge the influences on their argument. If we isolate key information in a passage, that can really help us to identify someone's argument. Let's read the passage on the next slide now. See if you can identify the main argument in it. A fast food cafe has become notorious in the west of Ireland. The Dusty Burger Bar in the centre of Galway's retail area has been sued by 30 different customers over a three month period who claim that they have suffered food poisoning as a result of eating there. A local songwriter has even written a comedy song about it called What's That In Me Burger? Other customers have posted pictures of their food on Twitter and, Face and YouTube. Health and safety officials have warned the owner of the cafe to improve hygiene standards by the end of June. Otherwise, the Dusty Burger Bar will have to be closed down. Can you see that some parts of that story don't contribute to the overall argument, even though they add some interesting extra information about it? The information that doesn't really contribute and is extra has been written in green on the next slide. If you look at this slide you can see that the information in green doesn't really contribute to the main story, it just adds extra flavour so to speak. So a fast food cafe has become notorious in the west of Ireland and the local songwriter with his song What's That in My Burger, that's all extra information meant to make the story more interesting but it's not really vital. If we take out those parts of the passage, we're left with the main statements or propositions of the argument, and then it becomes clearer. The Dusty Burger Bar in the centre of Galway's retail area has been sued by 30 different customers over a three month period who claim that they have suffered food poisoning as a result of eating there. Health and safety officials have warned the owner of the cafe to improve hygiene standards by the end of June, otherwise the Dusty Burger Bar will have to be closed down. They're the facts, they're the important parts, and that helps us to identify what's exactly being said. We can list these main points in our own words if we want to. Proposition 1. The Dusty Burger Bar in Galway has been the subject of numerous complaints concerning food poisoning. Proposition 2. Health and safety officials have issued a warning to the owners of the cafe. Proposition 3. There's a possibility the cafe will be closed down if hygiene standards aren't met by the end of June. And the overall argument, hygiene standards at the cafe need to be improved. Can you see that the overall argument is clearer when we identify all the propositions that lead to the conclusion? Well that's the end of Unit 2. Hopefully it's helped you to think more critically and to think about ways where you can identify author's arguments, supporting arguments and how people will try and persuade you to agree with their work. There's some extra reading on that final slide if you're interested in it, but for now that's all. Goodbye.